Hello everyone, welcome to Science Concepts with Bhavna Garwal. And in this video, we'll be discussing about the various types of inertia. So if you have not seen my previous video based on what is inertia, I am sharing the link on this I button. You can just click on this and you can get access to that video. So you please see the video of inertia before you continue with this video that is types of inertia. Inertia is basically of three different types and these types are the first one is known as the inertia of rest. So when we say inertia of rest, it means the tendency of the object to stay at rest. That means the tendency of an object to resist a change in its state of rest. Can you think of some example related to this? Yes. The example is when a car or a bus suddenly starts moving, we fall backwards. The reason is that the upper part of our body, which is free in air, was initially at rest along with the vehicle in which we are traveling. But as soon as the vehicle came in motion, the lower part, part of our body, which was in direct contact with the vehicle, started moving. But the upper part of the body, which was free, still remained at rest. It continued to remain at rest because of inertia of rest. And that is why we fall backwards when suddenly a vehicle starts moving. So th this is the best example you can think about uh, when you think of inertia of rest. Another very common example here is that when you pile the coins of a carom board and you just strike the lowermost coin, what will happen? Only the lowermost coin moves out, whereas the upper pile of the coins remains intact. It is because force was exerted only on the lower coin due to which it came in motion, whereas the upper coins, they continue to be at rest because of inertia of rest and that is why they remained, the pile remained intact. So this was about the first type of inertia that is the inertia of rest. Now let us talk about the second type of inertia and it is the inertia of motion. So when we say inertia of motion, it is the ability of an object to resist a change in its state of motion. That means when an object is moving, it tends to keep on moving provided no external force is acting on it. Another example related to our daily lives, when we are traveling by a vehicle and sudden brakes need to be applied, we always fall forward. Why does it happen? The reason is inertia of motion. Why? Because when the vehicle was moving, let us say the car was moving at a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Our body was also moving with the same speed, that is 80 kilometers per hour. On sudden application of brakes, the car immediately came to a stop and the parts of our body which were in direct contact with the car, that means the lower part of our body, it came to rest. But the upper part of our body, which was free in air, still remained in motion due to, of course, inertia of motion. And because of this, we fall forwards. So what are the seat belts meant for? The seat belts are meant for your protection from such jerks. So you must, must wear seat belts whenever you are driving. And even if you are not driving yourself, you must wear seat belts whenever you are sitting in a car. So this was about the inertia of motion. Now let us talk about the third type of inertia, which is the inertia of direction. Again, the definition is somewhat similar. The tendency of an object to resist a change in its direction of motion. That means whenever an object is moving in a particular direction, it tends to keep on moving in the same direction. It will not like to change its direction. Many of you must be going for cycling or you might be driving a two-wheeler. What happens when you move around a roundabout or whenever you need to take a turn across the road. We always bend outwards. Why does it happen? Again, it is inertia of direction because our body was moving in a particular direction and when we need to move about that roundabout or when we need to take a turn, the body has to bend because it is resisting a change in its state of direction. So these are the three types of inertia and I hope you've understood the concept well. 
If yes, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel if not done yet. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get regular notifications for more such upcoming interesting videos. And yes, please, please, please share this with your friends as well. Thanks for joining me.